Hi, and welcome back to Glendale Today. I'm Councilmember Bart Turner. We've moved from the Glendale Main Library up to the Glendale Foothills Branch Library. It's located on 57th Avenue, north of Union Hills Road, up in the northern part of Glendale. Now, joining me today is our Director of Community Services for the City of Glendale, Eric Strunk. Eric, how are you? I'm doing fantastic, how are you? I'm great, thanks great. for being with us, beautiful day. Absolutely. But we are gonna go inside. Will you take us inside and show us around? I'll be happy to do that. Great, thanks. Great. Now, Eric, Foothills is Glendale's newest library. What can you tell us about its history and some figures about it, some stats? Sure thing, that's a very good question. In the mid to late 1980s, there was an, a fairly explosive amount of growth in this general area. And as a result of all that, the, kind of the area from 51st to 75th, Union Hills to Pinnacle Peak, if you could draw a straight line to 75th, kind of filled in. And a lot of new rooftops, a lot of new homes. And one of the things that uh, the mayor and council at the time picked up on was, hey, we need to make sure that we provide a good level of service to our residents. And subsequent to that, we had a conversation. We identified several pieces. This particular area was the one that played out. Mm -hmm. We did acquire the land from Midwestern University at the mm -hmm. time, and that would be in 1997. Okay. And then shortly thereafter, we hired architects. We started the design work. And as a result, you see this beautiful new facility here today. And it's designed to create a sense of connection, community, and obviously the library services with the area residents. Right, and, and like all libraries today, they're a lot more than just books. We, uh, have, we have programs yes. going on here yes. and activities, and of course in Glendale, we always have artwork. Absolutely. This We're is, standing under a piece of artwork. Yes, right we now. are, a very famous piece of artwork. And I don't know if the cameras can see it, but if you, if you were to look up, you'll see something um, by a very internationally well-known artist named Dale Chihuly. Mm -hmm. And years ago, back in 1998, we commissioned this artwork from Mr. Chihuly. He had previously done chandelier type work uh, in, in the Seattle area. Actually, he sold his first piece to the Seattle Art Museum in 1992. And what you see up here is basically a 2,000 pound structure of hand-blown glass. It's 1,123 pieces assembled and it's called the sun and the moon and if you look at it and stare at it for a while you can kind of see the different characteristics that come out of it the orange and the yellow hues and in the larger piece the sun and the clear glass some of the blue and some of the gray shaded glass right below it the moon and again this was a commission piece we purchased it in 1999 for about two hundred thousand dollars since then, it's doubled in value, but it, more importantly, it's a real treasure to the residents and city of Glendale. It is certainly a keepsake for our city, that's for sure. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And, and just by way of interest, um, the reason that we have Municipal Art and a it, beautiful piece like this is in 1983, going back in the time machine all those years ago, um, Glendale was the first city in the state to implement a municipal arts ordinance mm -hmm. for its capital program. So anytime we built a new water station, a new baseball facility, a new library, and so on, 1% of that goes to this special arts fund, and we use the proceeds from that to in, purchase, in part purchase this, plus all the other municipal art we have. Right, so all the art that we see in our in our office buildings, the statues we see in our parks, all the art that we see comes from the fact that the foresight of the council and, yes. and actually Mayor George Renner back in yes. the day yes. that brought yes. forward the idea of setting aside initially half a percent and then yeah. later a full percent Correct. of all of our capital expenditures, which means that today for every $100 that we spend building a building, yes. we set aside $1 to yes. buy art for that building, its grounds, and for other areas Abs of the community. Absolutely, and we've also worked in there over the years uh, performing arts now too. So it's sure. just not static commissioned art, it's also the performing arts. And we are able to use a little bit of that money to, to fund that unique program. And all of that's overseen by the Glendale Arts Commission, which is yes. a group of Glendale volunteers that yes, are interested is. in the arts. And they, they commission, which means that they look at and interview yes. artists with the ideas that the commission has in mind of what could go where in the city and uh, they recommend to the city council approval of art to be purchased to, to plant around the city of Glendale. That's very, uh, you got it right on the head, absolutely. Well, that's a great thing that we do here. <laughs>